Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion and the beautiful Katie. Hi. And we are coming to you from Swainsboro, Georgia, and we're at the Music Memories Museum. I've wanted to check this out for a really long time. Every time I come through, it's already closed for the day, but we caught it today at the beginning of the day. You guys are going to love this. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. So it's actually inside of this Main Street Market and they boast that they have musician-worn memorabilia. I'm in. Look at that. It says Elvis, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, Ringo Starr, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Tina Turner, James Brown, Retha Franklin, Tom Jones, Frank Sinatra, and many more. And that many more is over here because they're all country musicians. Patsy Cline, Johnny Cash, George Jones, you get it. Come on, let's go inside. So as soon as you walk in, it is a an antique market, but the museum starts right away. And they said Swainsboro has an interesting history because it's the home of where Hank Williams Jr. played his first show when he was eight years old. Everything you're seeing here is musician worn it's got a photo of the musician with it and they said anyone you hear on the radio overhead there's a piece in the museum i'm going to do my best to show you without reflections but we have here immediately a uh, signed photo of olivia newton john with a blouse owned by olivia newton john right here this kind of glittery and it comes with a 2019 Julian's auction tag so it would have come directly from her auction and right next to it is one of Slash from Guns N' Roses t-shirts and I do know his wife had a big auction of his stuff so that's definitely believable that was actually that says also August of 2019 so these things are not for sale they are just part of the museum next to it Elton John's button-up shirt with like some glittery kind of things there also from Julian's and then right next to it we have a top from Ann Wilson of Heart you can definitely see her wearing that very similar to the one actually in the picture they have and right next to her top it has a signed record of both Wilson sisters. Right there we have some Linda Ronstadt ostrich boots made by Nudie. How cool is that? Nudie Cone. And then right above it they have a blouse worn by Cheryl Crow. They have a signed picture from Van Halen when it was with Gary Sharon. They have Eddie's hat, his derby cap, and a photo of him wearing it. How cool is that? Oh, that's amazing. Freddie Mercury's cowboy hat. And they actually have a photo of Freddie wearing the hat right here on stage. Made by Nudie also. Nudie Cone. Custom tailored by Nudie. Wow, that is so cool. Then right next to it, Bob Dylan's hat. And Bob Dylan wearing that hat. Also made for him by Nudie. Here we have Steven Tyler's harmonica from Aerosmith. Says he used it on the Aerosmith Motley Crue tour of 2006. Signed CD by U2. And also Bono's boots. If you're a fan of Bono from the, he wore those in the movie Across the Universe. Now they said they actually have this case that has things for sale with Julian's. This is the only case of things for sale. And it's actually right now 50% off. So you can own one of Kenny Rogers shirts. Just uh, half of 350. That's also Kenny Rogers. That's Tanya Tucker stuff. This was a nudie shirt on the left. Worn by John Lennon. And on the right, George Harrison's nudie top and also over here Ringo's nudie shirt on the left and Paul McCartney's on the right and they actually show the tag right here the nudie tag and it has Paul's name on the tag how cool is that 
Now, the, I'm not going to show everything in here because I want you to come check it out. And there's just too much to show everything, but I'll show you some of my favorite stuff. So, these are George Strait's boots. You can see it's got his initials on the front. Merle Haggard's boots. Reba McIntyre's. And they actually are signed by Trisha Yearwood out to Reba. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then up here they have Naomi Judd's nudie hat. And also Winona's hat. And then that's super cool. They have Willie Nelson's wristband, his sweatband, and his headband. He would this says he actually wore it at uh, Hoffman Estates, Illinois, August 13th, 1983. Then this red shirt right here is recently passed Toby Keith shirt. It's got the skulls up there. That is Conway Twitty's costume. You can totally see him wearing that. In fact, they have a photo of him. Looks a little darker on stage, but you can tell by the drawstring things that that's the same shirt. Now that's one of my favorites. That is Michael Jackson's shirt, that button up. He had an era where he was wearing those a lot and they actually have a photo of him wearing it. Paul Schaefer's glasses from David Letterman's World's Most Dangerous Band. And also the Blues Brothers. Down here, we this green jacket's a Celtics Bobby Brown jacket. That was his personal jacket he wore on tour. And next to it is Whitney Houston's jacket was purchased from one of her storage units it says you can actually see the photo of her wearing it right there this place is incredible and this is actually signed by Whitney the silver piece is shares that was her skirt purchased at a charity auction and then the black one over here was Barbara Streisand's skirt here we have Janet Jackson's shoes and a signed picture. She had a big auction as well, so a lot of her stuff got out. It's a signed picture of Prince, along with one of Prince's shirts. And then right up here, Tina Turner. That is killer. One of the dresses performed in by Tina Turner. And that's Crystal Gale's. Crystal Gale. That one's Loretta Lynn's. What a collection, huh? I really love this case because this one has, this is Tammy Wynette's nudie coat. And right next to it is a shirt of George Jones, her one-time husband. And that shirt, they actually have a photo of him on stage wearing it and it was custom tailored for him. So there he is in the photo, July 22nd, 2011, wearing that same shirt. And then here's Roy Clark's hat, which, big Roy Clark fan, so it's cool. He's got his name embroidered in the hat there. Custom hat. And those are Roy Clark's boots also. With his patch on there. And then Buck Owens' hat. And it says Buck's name inside the hat as well. His Stetson. There, if you look in there, you can you can see it says Buck. Oh, are you blown away or what yet? Oh my, <laughs> we have literally been in this store, like walked 10 feet into here and I've only gotten this far. I know, she's not even kidding. We've oh only made gosh. it just the like in the front doorway right here. <laughs> It's his uh, private eight, yeah. signed 8x10 collection. Uh -huh. Wayne Newton. Yeah. Paul Anka. Yep. The Righteous Brothers. Connie, Connie Stevens. Stevens. <laughs> That's great. Did, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. We were Whoa, listening to him fins in the car. Up. That's great. We, yeah, because we just went to Wiki Wachi. Fins up. Oh my gosh. Frankie Avalon. Andy Williams. That is one of the jackets of Barry Manilow. Of course, they have a photo of him wearing it. It's got some light designs here over on this side. And you can see him wearing it in that photo. 
Over here, this is Keith Whitley's, who died way too young, and they have a actually a signed picture of his. But this was Keith Whitley's nudie shirt. And it says it has the nudie tag and it says his name on the other tag. Very cool. It says this was his poster from the fairgrounds when he performed at the fairgrounds. Okay, here's Lori Morgan. That's hers. It's very colorful, very interesting costume. But then I love this because I got to stay at his house. That's Hank Snow's necktie, who originally was supposed to partner up with the Colonel to manage Elvis and then kind of got thrown out of the mix. And then this is Jim Reeves who passed in a plane crash. The great Jim Reeves. That is his jacket. They actually have a photo of him wearing it. My grandpa. It's a huge Jim Reeves fan. Now this case has some more kind of modern people. There's Garth Brooks shirt, once owned by Garth with a signed picture in the back there of him. I know some people have turned on and don't like him anymore. Here's Trisha Yearwood's nudie shirt that actually has her name from 1991 inside on the tag. That's pretty cool. This guy's got a great collection here. And it's great that like most of it's not for sale, just one little case. These are Tim McGraw's jeans. And that's also his top, his shirt. And then here they have Faith Hill's hat with like a certificate from her organization. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can show a little bit better. There we go. Now that's Kenny Rogers' tambourine and his scarf and the photo is him wearing the scarf. And then here is Kenny Rogers' silver shirt and he's actually wearing it in that photo next to the Julian's tag. Then you have Barbara Mandrell's jean jacket from Salt Lake City, which is kind of cool. And then B.J. Thomas. I knew they had a big auction of his stuff. B.J. Thomas. Raindrops keep falling on my head. And that shirt he's wearing in the photo. And then you get down here, and you have Porter Wagner's shirt that orange shirt right there and the signed photo of him and that shirt he's actually wearing it in the photo down here with Dolly Parton and then this hat in this guitar clock belonged to Dolly so the hat was a nudie hat and the clock was once Dolly's guitar clock now that's really cool that is Lloyd Cowboy Copus, that's his shirt. Maybe by Ben the Rodeo Tailor, it says on the tag. Let's see if I can show you that. And then that's a photo of him wearing it. He died in the plane crash with Patsy Cline. Really sad. And then this highlighted dress in this case was Patsy Cline's. And then this was Hawkshaw Hawkins, who was also on the plane, one of the performers. That was his shirt. That's a shirt of Marty Robbins right there. And then one of Mac Davis's nudie shirts, which look at that, that's a great one. Really classy and they made it so that you can see that when nudie made these for these guys, you can see on this little thin strip it says his name. They were always custom tailored for the artist. And then this same deal with Jerry Reed's shirt. It may look like an ordinary shirt, but it was a nudie custom fitted for Jerry Reed. The snowman. See there on that tag. That is Gene Autry, the singing cowboy's tailored suit right down there. And there's actually a photo of him. Go figure. <laughs> Much like everything else, they have a photo of him wearing that exact suit right there. And then right next to him 
They have a shirt worn by the great Roy Rogers, also one of the great cowboys of his day. That is fantastic. Those black boots right there in the middle are Randy Travis's boots, right next to Chris Christopherson's boots from the movie Disappearance. Disappearances in 2006. That is a shirt of Ricky Nelson's. That's a nudie shirt, of course. Ricky, wow, that's cool. I wish they could have framed it so that his tag wasn't upside down, but you can definitely tell it says Rick Nelson. This one's Tom Jones. You're gonna have your mind blown when you see all the stuff they have here. I mean, I've only shown you a portion. That's Sammy Davis Jr. shirt. That is Dean Martin's hat right there. Jerry Lewis's monogrammed shirt. You can see the JL right down here underneath the card. And he's actually wearing it in the picture. Bing Crosby shirt that he's wearing in that photo back there. Debbie Reynolds, our pal Debbie. Charlie Pride's hat. Charlie Daniels hat. Charlie Rich. Dottie West. Little Jimmy Dickens hat. This case is Elvis. You can see right up here, they have this amazing kind of paisley brown shirt of Elvis's. Colonel Tom Parker's cowboy hat. And he's wearing it in that photo, that same hat. Down here you have DJ Fontana's drum who was Elvis's original drummer. There you've got a drum head side by Ronnie Tut. You've got Scotty Moore's clothes over here. His first guitar player for Elvis. Smokey Robinson's jacket right there. You have Roy Orbison's golf pants, <laughs> which look like something out of uh, Christmas. <laughs> they look like elf pants. Peter Tork socks that he wore for a charity softball game. This on the left was BB King's. And on the right, that belonged to Ray Charles. The yellow gloves belonged to Diana Ross. This purse belonged to Aretha Franklin. Little Richard's white boot that you can see that he signed and James Brown's scarf. That white shirt down there with the stripes is Mick Jagger's, tailored from him by Anto of Beverly Hills. This top is Judy Garland's, and this jacket below us is Frank Sinatra's, this black jacket. That shirt belonged to Jerry Lee Lewis, Purchased from his estate in 2021. And then this was a Yamaha mixer owned by Johnny Cash. And then that is a shirt owned by Carl Perkins. Definitely a Carl Perkins style shirt. He always had those kind of like weird lace up silky shirts. Made by Nudie, of course. You can see the tag down there. This weird boot bag down here was June Carter Cash's with like the cowboy hide on it. Made for her by Nudie. Then you have one of Johnny Cash's Nudie shirts. Has his name and everything on the tags as you would expect as we've seen with everybody else. Now we have a bunch of heavy hitters on this wall. Wait till you see this one, holy moly. Starting with Karen Carpenter's dress right here. Great singer, coming from Mickey Dean's. And then that is John Denver's shirt right there. And the funny thing, of course it's a nudie shirt, 
but they actually have a photo of him wearing it. It's a black and white photo, but you can tell by the pattern that's the same shirt. Custom tailored by Nudie for John Denver. I like John Denver, so it's kind of cool. And then right next to it, shirt worn by Jimi Hendrix, which you're like, oh yeah, that totally looks like something that Hendrix would wear. Well, definitely very similar to the style in this photo. It's not the same exact one, but that is definitely the same style. And it comes with an authentication from Vicky Deans also. Owned and wore by Jimi Hendrix. Right next to Buddy Holly's shirt. Yeah, will it ever end all this greatness? <laughs> All these great clothes, Buddy Holly's once owned shirt, right next to Waylon's once owned shirt with the Texas Longhorn on the cuff there, an upside down Texas Longhorn. That is pretty cool. Those three or four together, five together right there, just amazing. Then they have Ray Price's suit. I thought it was really interesting. Mickey Deans has letters on a lot of these really incredible pieces. He was a nightclub promoter who was married to Judy Garland towards the end of her life. So it's very fascinating that he ended up with pieces like Karen Carpenter's dress and Jimi Hendrix's um, tunic. It's very cool. Stuff is legit. This is an incredible museum. Yeah, Maria Elena, you're right. This is uh, even the Buddy Holly shirt came from has a certificate of authenticity from his wife so it's kind of crazy I, I don't think I've ever seen that with anything else that's been on display of buddies anywhere else I've been in the world because <laughs> I've seen stuff of his various places but that's that was really interesting to see she's right the uh, where they got some of this stuff from the the people that they got it from are known interesting stories here they have a watch that was custom made for Don McLean, American Pie, who we saw at the, uh, we saw him perform at the Surf Ballroom. What a memory. Just when you think you've seen it all, Hank Williams Jr.'s pants. These are the pants to Hank Williams Jr.'s blue suit that is on the wall. And they have a little wrist band because remember, like I said, his first appearance, basically what happened was after Hank died, Audrey put Hank Jr. out on the road and he would go out as Hank's son and here they're promoting right there. His first appearance was here in Swainsboro. Stage of the Nancy Auditorium, March 22nd, 1958. There's an Ernest Tubb hat back there. You got Roy Acuff. That was his jacket. Well, very well respected man. Over here you have Carl Smith's shirt, Bill Monroe, these are all like the stars of the Opry, Red Foley shirt, and even a genuine piece of the Grand Ole Opry 4. So we got a little bit of an answer for you on our Mickey Dean's dilemma. It was that he owned a nightclub and uh, he used to display memorabilia and so the people that would come in there would actually donate items and then eventually he sold his collection and then that collection was sold and that's how it eventually ended up here. Oh, this is so cool that this is here because I knew this was up for auction and I have, uh, I read Greg Allman's book and he talks about like really just he said like the only time he would really ever feel free is when he would get on his bike and go riding around like Macon and he would do that a lot and he said he would often go to a bar and get drunk and he said if he saw somebody like if he just felt rowdy if he saw somebody that didn't have like a Harley he'd go why are you driving that thing when you could be driving this thing so kind of cool to see this is 1999 Harley he was pretty much a lifelong Harley rider and I got to meet him at Book Soup in Los Angeles. But he said to him, like, he just, he absolutely loved, loved to ride. Would, uh, every chance he got, he would, he would, uh, put his bike up on, like, a trailer. No matter 
what condition he was in in life he would uh like if he couldn't handle it for long amounts of time because of his injuries or whatever things he would have happen he would put it on a trailer and take it out and still go riding wow 4900 original miles he loved to ride <laughs> i never wrote about cranking every couple of weeks that's cool that's so cool thanks for letting me take a photo without the stanchions katie just noticed this neil mccoy shirt is the same one that is on the trading card down here and the back of his album cover and then here's an oak ridge boys jacket dwight yoakam's shirt from the movie the newton boys he was great in uh, sling blade man he's a good actor he really is a good actor here this case has miley cyrus's shirt right next to her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus shirt. And then below us is Brooks and Dunn. It's Ronnie Dunn's shirt. And there's uh, Kicks Brooks. George Jones tour jackets. <laughs> Autographed David Cassidy album. Here's one of Glenn Campbell's shirts. That, uh, of course, is a nudie. And then below it is Ronald Townsend from the Fifth Dimension. That is Janis Joplin's right there. The blouse owned and worn by Janis. And also this guitar pin down here says she was she wore it on the 1969 television series The Music Scene. In 1969, a fall lineup on ABC. And then Mickey Dean, of course, was the one who supplied this. And then down here, Marilyn Monroe's purse, it says. This purse is from the personal collection of famed Hollywood hairstylist Sidney Gilleroff. Very good friends with Marilyn Monroe and did her hair in many of her films and did the hair for her funeral in 1962. Down here they have a pillow of Donna Summers purchased through her estate auction. Interesting. I think this is a pretty cool piece in here. It's signed by Mickey Dolenz and it says, to Michael, he's the one that owns this museum, it says, I'm honored that this will be displayed in the Music Memories Museum. This truly is a fantastic place. I can't believe more people don't talk about this. I just happened upon it one day when I was looking for things in Georgia. And like I said, I've tried to come here about five times and every time I am passing through too late in the day where they've already closed, but I'm so glad I made it today. Oh, here we have something of Paul Stanley's right there shirt and vest were Paul Stanley's this was Michael McDonald's that was also a nudie cone shirt and then over here they have a Taylor Swift dress and believe it or not the proof right there here she is wearing that exact dress in that photo There you go, Swifties. And here they have Tony Bennett's pipe down there, but uh, fortunately no photo of him smoking it. <laughs> Guess whose hat? Miss Minnie Pearl's hat. Right next to Kitty Wells' boots. Down here is a brick from the first home that Hank Williams purchased. And I love this. Down here they have Jimmy Dean's <laughs> shirt from his restaurant that he actually wore. Well, they told us to walk around the place because they were having a sale on everything. And I just found this book of Bo Jackson's for $29.99 signed. And it's definitely his signature, so I'm going to buy it because it's uh, an additional discount off the 30 bucks. Thank you very much. Look at that. Bo knows Bo. That is absolutely his signature. Not uncommon for people to do book signings when they first come out and this is a first edition so very cool and they do have a legit record store in here that you can shop for records in if you want to well my friends we're gonna call it a day i hope you guys enjoyed this if you're ever near swainsboro georgia you have to stop here this place i think this is cooler than the rock and roll hall of fame mm -hmm. i've been to a lot of music museums and this stuff is documented and it's just amazing so come check it out thank you all for watching we'll see you next time have a great night and goodbye.